Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's my great, great pleasure and honor to be with you today to share my experience and knowledge on the subject with you. New trends to improve your bottom line. Beauty, beauty, everybody is attracted to this subject. Millions and billions have been really invested to have the ladies and gentlemen nowadays look in their best. And yet, so many young ladies, and I'm one of them, who has reached the success out of the manual and out of trusting our hands and creativity. They used to ask me, what are your tools? What did you invest to reach to what you have reached to after 37 years? I used to say, I trusted my hands. My mother used to say, take care while we were young and she used to be stared at. And she used to be staring the, the, the food on the fire. She used to tell me, please watch out your hands. She made me love my hands. I used to pamper them. I used to pamper my nails. It starts where you like yourself and then you like uh, to transmit this to others. Once you believe in yourself, then people can believe in you. All I would like to tell you before we start speaking, that when you say that I want to look up, I stand up. I passed in so many difficulties. Maybe you would say we didn't start yet to speak about the subject, but this is where all subject starts and ends. I lost my husband 10 years ago, and one year and a half, I lost my daughter, my eldest daughter. And then I said to myself, what's gonna happen? I'm gonna lose this trust of my hands. I said to myself, stand up, look up. And this is a big back up to our business when anything may arrive to our business. Not only money can help us, it is life. It is when we say to ourselves, we want to continue. Let's start from there and I say welcome all of you here and I'm very, very happy to be with you from Lebanon and from this special area here in Dubai. If you are doing something from scratch, don't invest in what you cannot rely on, rather start with proven technology to aim satisfying customer results. We have so many attraction to many different machines, to many different technologies, but sometimes these technologies, we don't look at so many things in beauty when we talk about FDA approval. There are so many things that we don't know their results, and when we think that we are attracted to such kind, of things we may reach to a successful result or we may fool with the result of the machine if it was a bad one. Give all attention to offering the best quality of services offered and not only to its revenue. You know, sometimes we say to ourselves, if a lady arrives and wants to do eyebrow tweezing, it's little money and it, is maybe, it may reach to $20. So I'll do it quick because a facial, a lady who's waiting for a facial, and this may, may, uh, may lead to, for example, $100, I will give more attention and more time. Well, uh, my ladies, young, uh, young gentlemen here, I would say that by tweezing in a very good shape, the eyebrows I used to do at home, I arrived to a trust for people where the eyebrow tweezing is not permanent to a permanent successful eyebrow tattoo which arrives to thousands. Maybe here the maximum you reach in tattoo is how much? How much do you price a tattoo, a perfect tattoo? You have no idea. 2005. In Lebanon, uh, uh, it reaches about $2,500 with somebody who does HD tattoo, let us say, not talking about ourselves. 
So for example, if you excel in eyebrow shaping and tweezing, which is not permanent, with a revenue of $20 max, your client may trust you to do permanent eyebrow shaping tattoo where you can charge a minimum of $400. To develop and grow new trends in your business, you need teamwork. If we, if we light a candle, we see a glow. If we light a thousand candles, we see brightness. Look, if we close this room, we see no light. Look at all the lights around. They make us feel happy and, and we can see each other. This is business. It's the teamwork. It's when you look at birds flying. They never fly alone. They like to fly as a team all together. And this is where they go high and higher. Qualified, trained, charismatic staff that have the knowledge about every single product and service offered. Know well what your clients want. Use survey sheets to know more about what their needs are in order to, to fulfill your clients' demands. These things are must. A good database, a good and catchy presentation of the services offered in a booklet or a brochure form. And I have arrived to use books. And I say nowadays people enjoy reading about every single treatment. Attractive banners, they do help. And you know, nowadays we see any banner, we look at, sometimes we say we want to, to know more, we, we search, we Google. Do not rely on one man show. And this one man show can be yourself. For this will not maintain long term success for the future. I used to, to work at home in a small room. Uh, it's not to tell you that now I own the biggest beauty spa, but it was this small room which led me to feel uh, the happiness of what I have now. It is something where you reach and, and then you ask yourself, you don't know why you are working, what's happening, but when you reach to a certain place, you ask yourself and then you know how to transfer it to others. So. If you are the one only working and, and these people uh, wait for you only or for special employers that you have that have the one man show and that are the most experienced, what will happen? Every lady will call to have an appointment with you or with this one man show. If your place is big and all of you, I'm sure, all you have or will reach to have the biggest beauty spas. So, this place will be waiting. How many appointments can you do a day? Would you please answer me? How many? Do you have beauticians around? How many appointments you can handle a day? Seven to eight. A lot. A lot. Seven? Seven. Seven. Twenty? Seven. Max. So if your place is huge and big and you have really put uh, so much money to invest, you can't invest the money you have put in this place. You have to have team. And this team, you have to work that each one of them shares a part of this uh, company and at the same time, each one of them can do a good job. And this is how managing a, a spa starts in a good, successful way. So for me, if I see one of my uh, uh, a staff, a very experienced. Uh, I try to move to one to another and help her to become better and allow her to share her experience with these clients. The same thing with me. I do own the place, but what happens when we age? We're not going to live the whole life working. We need people to back us up. So we need this team. We need to, re to rely on and we need the family business too. We have to work on family business. We have to allow the spirit of family business for these clients to accept a, a more number of people to trust. Do not rely on one man show. This is what we said about, will not maintain long-term success for the future. Find good partners. Usually we speak of partners that are people. Partners are your machines. Partners 
at every single detail in your spa. It is the training manuals. It is the service maintenance. It is the, the, the so many, every single thing you may think of. These are your partners. Even the people who help you clean the place. These are your partners. It starts from so many, so many different steps. And there we will talk about. All can help back up your work, especially with the trained staff. Who are you targeting your new trends for upper class, middle, or low income individuals? If I am to classify low income individuals, do not exist. They do not exist in relation with customers. They exist in life. We have started to be one of those people and life helped us to reach, to upgrade ourselves. Let's start from there and think that our relation with customers should be treated as people of this segment as middle class. While top clients, to begin with, the waiting area has to be the image of a five-star hotel. If you're in a five-star hotel, what do you expect? First, when you enter the entry, then the people who receive you, their, their, uh, their uh, costume they're using, they worn, their hair, their makeup, the hygiene, the flowers, the music, and the peace and charisma that each one of these people really shows the first moment you greet these clients. So, because they cannot wait, you should make sure that these uh, top clients are very well received to be served later. They like to feel warmly welcomed and this is part of being Orientals or Arabs. We are known for this, we should not speak much about it. Third, the treatment rooms have to be designed accordingly in order to make bigger investments. Finally, all clients should be treated without prejudice, no matter their finance background is. If your target is top clients, if your target is top clients, you have to invest sometimes more, more and more, because yet investment in a new trend is not only money. It's time you dedicate to your clients and the job you're doing. For example, if I feel that it's only money that I am investing, and I don't think that I have to allow these people to give them time for consultation, to look at them in, in a very positive way. Some people, when, you, when, receive a, uh, when they receive a client, they look at her and they say, you have aged, you've lost your hair, oh, you look old, I've seen you lately, you've changed a lot. Oh, you should use my miracle cream. She wants no more cream. She wants to go home and say what happened with life, her, her mentality, her spirit is ruined. Negative attitude. Negative attitude of the staff is very bad. It reflects on so many things. For example, if I have passed in a, in a, in a negative feelings, negative uh, uh, way of living, uh, I have problems with my husband or with my friend, I should not transmit this to my client. I should forget this at home. And this is when I train my staff. I always say, if you are tired, please go home, take two days and come back. Come back fresh. You should allow our staff to do special uh, pampering uh, hours in the center. First, to have the experience of this uh, uh, service. Second, to allow others 
to experience it with you and at the same time feel fresh. Why not? It doesn't cost much. It is the way we manage. It is the way we manage that allows good relation. Even, even when we go into more details, these people are searching for a good living. But in the end, they look at these ladies who come to your place, they sometimes like to look like them. They like to carry the same handbag, maybe, or maybe an imitated one, no problem. Maybe they like the, to look uh, more tidy with special therapies on their nails, on their hair. Why not if we can reach together to take from this basket? If we tell our staff that it's a big basket, we're going to share this revenue, this money, all together. Why not? I'm allowed for the 70% and the 30%, I will really pass it to you and which you deserve. This is where they are happy. This is where if I am selling, for example, in my perfumery, I tell them you have 1% for you. They are happy. Maybe 1% doesn't do much, but they will work for it. And at the same time, I offer her something like anything from the easy access that, is, that, that can help her maintain her own looks and makeup. Why not? So many things are important. This is where sharing, sharing success, sharing business, sharing every moment with the staff and with really the people that you work at. So, yet investment in new trends is not only money, it's the time you dedicate your clients and the job you're doing. Beauty services, especially, cannot be rushed. Each client has to have full attention and privilege. This is where I said you can't be one man show, you can't be the only person or only spare, uh, one person from your staff is the best. Let us say, for example, if I am to do a permanent makeup, this lady is gonna live with this permanent makeup and look how many we look and say, wow, what's that, so ugly. How is she going to look like a witch or things like that? Let us think that time may help our success in any service we are doing and will allow the client to trust more what we are going to do. Even if she doesn't do it in the same day, we can tell her, come back tomorrow. And this is where she's more happy. Or we can understand her deep mentality and tell her you don't need it. Because we've, we're looking at her and she's shivering and saying, what will happen if I tattoo? What will happen if my beliefs don't allow me to do this? And there, if I want to, to, to look at the money side, I will be telling her, oh, you need it, you have to. Your eyebrows are empty, you have to fill them. I am the burst, I'm the pioneer, uh, I'm the tutorial of eyebrows. So she goes back home with something that she's not satisfied, although you did a good job. Let's start from there and say, the lady, we have to know what she needs. We have to read what she needs. We have to know how to read her beauty. If I look at the young uh, girl here, may you stand up, and I look at her beautiful eyes and, uh, and beautiful skin, and I look at her and I tell her, oh, your eyebrows are low, I want to push them up. And this way you look more beautiful and you will resemble this actress from Lebanon or another from wherever. So what will I be doing? I will be working on her mentality. And this mentality is transferred to her way of thinking. And then she goes back and thinks, and this is where we fall in fashion victim. And if I look at her, I tell her, you're so beautiful. Please take care of your beauty. And how do you take care? It's by the way you clean, you protect, you nourish, and this nourishing is from inside, outside. And this is where I can look at the lady and convince her and tell her to have a beautiful skin. Tell me what you're eating, how you're sleeping, what are you drinking? And then we speak about beauty. 
and there and there it goes and goes and goes very fluently and people love what we're doing. Thank you, dear. I can look at something, for example, and say, for example, I look at this young lady who's so beautiful, and then I tell her, why are you fat? And why aren't you, aren't you taking care? This is an insult. Who said we are fat? We are not. We look at ourselves, and we are sure that we like ourselves like we are, but we want to maintain good health, right or not. We look at good health. Sometimes I reach to be uh, like more 10 kilos, and people would look at me and say, I used to tell her, it's none of your business. And who told you I am fat? I fit myself. I like myself. But if there's something that I'm suffering from or that is disturbing me, why not? For example, I'm using eyeglasses. And for example, eyeglasses disturb me. I want to use, for example, to go to lenses. And I tell her, why are you using eye, uh, eyeglasses? You have to use lenses. Who said that I like to put lenses in my eyes? I like the natural look, and any time I take them out. Right or wrong? I think this is us. We believe in ourselves. We trust ourselves. And who are to tell us that we need any correction? This correction, you have to read in the, in the person's mind, not in what we are trained to sell for. And if I want to sell, I look and say, for example, you have an Asian beauty, you have an Oriental beauty, you have a long, beautiful, long hair, uh, why, why not change the color? Maybe I will be ruining her texture of hair. Or look at her and say, you have a beautiful uh, uh, Arab uh, black hair, which is uh, very full and beautiful. Or I look at somebody and say, you have little hair, you have to treat and all that. If she doesn't feel that, why should I follow all this procedure and disturb her mentality in so many things that she's not interested about? And when I look at charisma, I look at attraction, and I look at the young lady and I tell her, you look so beautiful, you know your colors, for example, I love how you are looking, she feels happy. But when I look at her and I tell her, I want to change you, I have to find something convincing to change about her. I'm not seeing something really to change about. And the same with men. When we look at men, men nowadays like to be pampered and like to see where the beauty rises because they want to succeed in society. And beauty really is the best way to reach a successful place in society, plus so many others which we're not gonna talk about. So if I look at the young gentleman, I do find that his hair, he has lost a bit of his hair, but maybe instead of saying you have lost a bit of your hair, I look at you and say it suits you because I do find it. And you can shave it sometimes and you have a very special look because you have them in your eyes. This is how we have trust. You know your colors. I love the navy blue. It promotes your eyes. So many, so many things, so many, so many things. When I look at the young lady here, I say I have the spirit of God around me because you have a trustful way of wearing your black abaya. So this is from so many points. This is what's called business. Business is not when you search for business, it's how you love them. On the technical skills, people love to be treated by competent staff who have the passion, devotion, and experience. Offering new trends in a smart way starts with the call center and the reception. The way you answer the call, picking up within three rings in every moment in a, uh, is a very important first introduce yourself, the company, and then give the right info to book the appointment. The reception area. This is what we talked about in the beginning. Gives the customer uh, the first impression and the last. From the moment you greet till you receive your payment. You know, sometimes we make people stand, oh, how much do you need from her? What did she do? Ah, did, did you collect the whole uh, uh, things she, says she said she did? Uh, uh, shall I make her discount? Why not have files? Why not have special, uh, 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 like you'd call them confidential uh, cards for her, fidelity cards. This is where she will feel happy. And uh, why not look at what we take from her and what she has done before she arrives uh, to pay. And then in the end, we make her feel uh, suitable with herself when she sits 
takes a coffee and then we tell her this is what we want to take from you and instead of telling her special offer for you a special discount for you why i will tell her today our spa offers our clients a special uh, price and as you are a fidelity client this is where you're going to receive something special from us so thank you for coming to our place this is, there are so many other ways other important factors that accompany new trends music music it's very important background music it soothes and comforts the client making them more relaxed while they are uh, during our treatments trust your body language it's very important for when you present something new your body language show others 70 percent of what you are talking about really sometimes we fool people by our body language you go to a place and they tell you we want to sell you for example an apartment and this person sits and discusses so many things in a very special way puts uh, banners puts pictures knows how to do projections and there maybe you will be buying uh, uh, fish uh, that are not in the ocean there are so many things like that people don't uh, don't like that you over talk so much like i am doing now as i'm doing my job but people would like to look at you feel peace feel satisfaction and feel convinced because you are convinced in what you are promoting there are so many different machines and treatments making it very difficult for the consumer to distinguish between them any new treatment or technology that you acquire should be easy to explain to the client for example i bring a lead machine and i don't read much about it and i'm a person who wants to invest and i bring machines and i don't teach and train my staff and this lady comes in and says what is the lead machine oh you're gonna look young you're gonna look your best this this way of talking really does not solve and maintain our business you need to be sure that what you deliver is what you promise and this is true for anything you do or offer if you want cutting edge treatments you'll be offering pioneering technology which is more risky as you'll be the one that is doing the research for the particular treatment or technology you go to saloons we are down we go down we look at so many uh, machines so many uh, new brands and we are attracted and the person tells us this machine ah it's going to make you money you will be taking for each session 100 dollar and the lady will, will be satisfied oh sir since how many years this machine has been on the market show me your results if i'm to start it with you you have to give me very special offers because I will be starting it on people that are, for example, my friends or whatever. Or I would rather say, I want to visit you and to see in my eye the result after 15 or 20 days as you are promising. So offer me this opportunity and from there I can decide to buy or not to buy. If you want cutting edge treatments, we said you're offering pioneering technology. This is what we meant. New trends to improve your bottom line. New trends. We speak about new trends. Who said that new trends are always the best? I am to speak about new trends. And I will tell you, I have so many, so many tips that I have gained from my grandma that I'm still using. And they complement new trends. I can't rely only on the tips from my grandmother or grandfather or whoever. I have to mix and match with everything that may back up my business. Anti-aging treatments which start with nutrition, as we said before, skincare treatments to medical solutions. We know quite well nowadays that medical solutions, if I want to lift my face, so I go to plastic surgery or I maintain at home and I think of so many different important things anti-aging for my bones starts with what tell me with 
calcium and vitamin D. D. Anti-aging for my muscles starts where? Exercise. Exercise. Proteins also. I cannot say I'm only vegetarian and rely on so many things, though it helps, but not that much. It's lifestyle. Beauty is lifestyle. We have to know how to talk to our clients about lifestyle. Let's look here. I loved Brigitte Bardot when I was young. I always wanted to look like her. I used to, to put dark makeup and I still around my eyes and this, that, that time they never called it smoky. It was Brigitte Bardot. We used to look at Sophia Loren who used to have HD brows line by line, you know. We used to look at the shape of Marilyn Monroe and Marilyn Dietrich of her eyebrows. Nowadays, we talk about tutorial of eyebrows. It was there, nobody was talking about it. Because they resembled themselves. So, why? Because they were, they had a special beauty of themselves. Why should we look like others? Why should I put in my salon the picture of this actress or another? So that people would want to look at her. Who said I want to look at her? I want to look at myself in my mirror and trust my beauty and look more beautiful in the eyes of the guys around me, maybe in the eyes of my boyfriend, maybe in the eyes of my friend, maybe my mother, maybe my father, and maybe the society. So if we read her problem, we could say, and Brigitte Bardot is not interested to solve it, but if she comes to me and I look at her, I cannot tell her all these things. I can look at her and tell her, I'm happy to receive you. I'm honored to receive you. I've had the chance to look at you. You are a person who succeeded any time where success didn't need all this marketing that is done nowadays. So I would look, if she was my grandma, I would think of the, all the good times she gave me. And I would say, oh, she never thought of makeup, nor of cosmetics to look more beautiful. And if I look at my mom, I say to her, you never thought of yourself, you thought only of me. I wouldn't look at her and tell her, you have saggy skin, you have uh, laxity, you have uh, wrinkles. I tell her, thank you that I reached what I reached to. It's because you never thought of yourself, you were thinking of me. That doesn't mean we shouldn't think of ourselves nowadays. We should give time to ourselves, to our family, to our education. So, Decrease of collagen and elastin fibers cause this, dryness, loss of fat, pigment disorder, loss of water, laxity sagginess, slower cell renewal. This is aging, my friends. Why not? Let's age, but while we are happy and we understand that this period of time, we enjoyed. Why not? I think Brigitte Bardot enjoyed very much time of her life. So if we look at her, how she looked like, and how she looks now, maybe I'm gonna be the same in a few years. But why not? I don't want to see that one. That's it, I want to see this one. But why not say the truth? True. Would you look more than two minutes at the, other, uh, at the other picture, and you would say, haram, oh, what happened to her? Maybe I would say, Allah, she lived her life, whatever, however she looks. She was happy, now she doesn't care about this. Or maybe, she is passing in difficult periods with everybody nowadays has to watch out, which is psychological ones. It is due to everything around us. Heat, cold, money, life, children, everything may cause this. So I think that if I look at her, I would love to remember her like that. I wouldn't want to remember her like we saw her. Even if correction can be done in so many, so many ways, my friends. Several new ways to improve skin aging. Volume with fillings and Botox for wrinkles correction. Skin laxity with tightening procedures. Growth factors and stem cells for continuous skin rejuvenation. Glow treatments to improve skin appearance. Remove dead cells and discoloration in combination with lasers, radiofrequency, peeling. So many, so many, so many, so many to come. I've done a program which is called the Beauty Clinic with maybe uh, uh, 200 patients and 700 doctors and we had the satisfaction in the eyes of people who wanted it. But people who don't want it, I think they are fine just like they are. 
body sculpture with high technology of ultrasound cryolipolysis and injectables. This is the solution for anti-aging of our body, of our face, uh, of every single part in, and feature of hair loss while we, we transplant so many, so many, so many, so many. So, in the end, a good marketing is very important but not as important as offering reliable and consistent results which make the best and most of the marketing. I used to be on all the TVs of the world. I had maybe 10 programs that were running all year long. My daughter died, left and passed away and I was no more on TV. I, I searched on working on myself and started writing. And now I have seven books. This is where we should think that marketing, TV was marketing Leila. But Leila should remember that she has to feel herself to keep marketing herself in the position where she lies in. So every beauty should find a space in her country, in her society, in her family. If I belong to a family where I shouldn't wear my blonde hair, or I shouldn't cut my hair, or I shouldn't wear tight clothes, or whatever. It's important to belong to our society, to our family, and the satisfaction in the mirror of the people around. So a good marketing is very important, but not as important. Mouse to mouse goes good, but not too far. One satisfied client will refer you to three, but one unsatisfied client can make you what, dear friends? One unsatisfied client can make you what? That's it, and maybe your business too. She would go and say, oh, look what she did in my face, look what she did, look she ruined me, oh. These voices go high, but when people are satisfied, they don't like to talk about them, they like to say, I'm normally beautiful. So watch out high voices. New trends have become easy and less invasive, but needs better patient reflection. Otherwise, they cannot work. And if they don't work, you'll have dissatisfied patients, which may ruin the reputation of your business. Be trustful, my friends. Be trustful, be trustful. Dr. Francesco Mello told me once that Professor Gills, the father of plastic surgeons in the UK, once said, build all the reputation in the patients who did not operate at all. So it's not the people who come to you, it's the people who hear about you. Finally, makeup industries and all its trendy tools are not as important as the way you use your artistic imagination for applying the new product you're promoting, therefore, sometimes, we don't need new trends, but new imagination to improve our bottom line. For your, I would like to thank you, and before I thank you, I would like to tell you something that I thought of last moment. Can we? Or is it difficult? I think it would be difficult. Let me show you something. You want to market your business and you have the makeup that you want to sell and maybe it's uh, expensive or not and you would like to sell. To sell your best is not to carry the product, it's to touch. It's the sensation, it's your hands. It's the body language. So, for example, if I want to speak about my makeup, my cosmetics, my tools, I use them. And then I go and I say, oh, if you do that, we will have an apartiti touch. And this is where you can have beautiful glow. And if you know where to put the glow, and this is how we're going to do it, and this is how I'll be teaching you how to highlight because our topic is not about makeup. I wanted to send some positive vibes 
for you in the end, not only talk business, and then it goes from there, and from there, we darken the area, and so the lady who will be waiting for us will be expecting something marvelous to come, and this is where it ends by smudging this part in a very quick way to allow them to feel that this is light, this is where we need light and we need to darken, and this is where light can darken our way of living, but we have to light it up, and though it remains dark part of our life that exists around us, we have to know how to use them, how to lighten our spirits, how to lighten our business, and from there, I am sure, dear friends, you will succeed. It was my honor to be with you, to thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. Really much to me. All my honor to you and for receiving me, dear friends, Sarah. And uh, I would like to tell for um, Aline too. Thank you again and again. It was my honor. And looking forward to see you next year. Many questions to come if we still have time.